my advice for people going out on their first holiday would be to not drink too much during the day if you're out in the sun a lot and um, yeah, drink lots of water and then you can drink as much as you want at night. good time and enjoy yourself but you are out in the sun and you are dehydrating your body so you need to remember just to be careful and just keep safe really. I think that you should always uh, have the numbers of taxis and other people who call if you're in trouble and make sure that you have any kind of cash with you at all times and not go to any dodgy areas. I wouldn't drink, it's not a good idea, the lips are vulnerable and we've all heard the case of people who take advantage and they wake up in a foreign country, not knowing their language, not knowing where they are. Um, it's just not a good idea, basically. Then you get a self-control and a bit of respect, really. <laughs> I think it, if you're going on your first foreign holiday, especially if you've just left school or something, you think you're kind of invincible and you go away and you think it's okay to drink lots because you're not at home and you don't have parents to deal with in the morning. But it's not like that at all. Like, you know, you're you're in a busy place, maybe, and there's always, as Andy says, there's always drinks promotions on offer and you just need to be sensible about it. There's no other way around it. You need to, and then, obviously, if you see one of your friends getting came out with all the time if you're girls <clears throat> make sure there's not two of you going out together especially if you're abroad make sure there's four or five of you and four or five of you come back home Nevertheless, around about the Brittany area, and that is going to head across the south. 
southeastern corner of the country, bringing, if nothing else, a lot of rain with it. On the satellite picture, you can see that there's, of course, a lot of cloud as well as a lot of rain stretching right across Europe. Indeed, most areas there are just as unsettled as we are having some outbreaks of rain. That's the way the rainfall pattern is looking at the moment. A lot of shading, a lot of rain across many parts of Europe. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and have a look at the British Sea, though. And as you can see, rain is now pushing up towards southern counties. There's a fair bit of rain still further north left over from last night's weather system. Now, as I run the sequence, you can see just how quickly the rain comes up from France, affects many southern and eastern areas, and then eventually later on tonight clears on out of the way and leaves us tomorrow in a fairly stiff uh, run of westerly winds, bringing along quite a few showers. Well, other people at the radar just before I came down a short while ago, uh, it looked as if rain wasn't very far away from the London area, but certainly some outbreaks of rain coming nicely now into many southern counties of England. The more Midland areas and Wales are a little bit brighter and drier, just one or two showers around. Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland, though, a fair amount of cloud. And again, there are some outbreaks of rain, and some of the rain fairly heavy, although it's beginning to ease off and turn showery now over Northern Ireland. Now, as time goes on, the rain in the north will edge up into northern parts of Scotland, tend to brighten up a little bit and dry up in the more uh, northern areas there of England. But the rain further south really setting in as time goes on for East Anglia, many southern parts of England, the afternoon ending up very wet and quite cool too.